Hello, and welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for Capricorn. I'm Julia Mijas, and with me today is... Jamie Kill Miller. And hey, Capricorn, your birthday is coming right up, right? Don't forget about yourself like you do every year. This is your time, right? So do it, have it, be it. Um, it's a time to be excited about all the Capricorns in the world, if Capricorn is your sun sign. Um, and so if you haven't scheduled your yearly birthday reading yet, Capricorn, remember self-care, right? Remember that thing, self-care? There's still time to do it before your birthday. If you do it early in the month, I do recommend that. And it's also the most powerful time to do it before your birthday actually happens, so if you, uh, when you have your birthday reading, you can ritualize your personal new year and get a jump on what's coming. And uh, you'll find a link to do that. Get that reading in the description below. So I want to talk about relationships because in that month before your birthday, there is a feeling of wanting to withdraw from the world. And it's very natural. It's because the sun is traveling through your symbolic 12th house, which is a house of retreat. It is a house where um, there's a feeling of sensitivity and uh, impressionability that can come over you. Um, now, I know, Capricorn, that you're very strong and very solid, but this is just that sort of month in the year when you may feel that you can almost walk between the worlds. You may feel yourself, you know, drawn towards uh, spiritual respites of various kinds. So one of the ways this shows up is that the 12th house is really full for you this month. Um, uh, Mars is there, Ceres is there, the sun is there. Um, Mercury passes through there, yes, and uh, and Venus too, and so um, you might just want to, you know, pull into yourself, and you might find that you need more rest, more sleep, and um, and so this can have a side effect in your relationships. But I do want to say that Venus in the eleventh house this month, and Venus is fast and direct, and uh, moving through the eleventh house, which is your very social arena. So you might find that you want to sort of spend your time either withdrawing and being by yourself or out in large groups, but not so much spending time with just one person. And especially between December 24th, uh, 4th and 29th, uh, you might be a social butterfly, um, but just remember the sensitivity and, uh, and put yourself in environments that uh, are extremely feel-good environments for you. Hey, Julia, what's the news for Capricorn of career and finance this month? Yes, well, Capricorn, one thing to be cautious of is Mercury is going retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, which rules your first house. Capricorn is a work sign, so it is going to affect you in career. And when Mercury goes retrograde, especially in the first, it's a time where you might be personally misunderstood a lot more easily. Like if you have to give a presentation at work, maybe you jumble your words a little more than you usual. You know, it can be a bit of a frustrating time just for getting your point across at your job. Now, Venus rules your 10th house of career and she's going to be in your 11th house of networks uh, this month. So a fabulous time for building your social networks at work. So if you find yourself uh, working this month, it might be best to do things in a group uh, because your team can really come together. Uh, you know, you won't be just doing all the work like you usually do with Venus in the 11th. You're going to be helped out by your team a lot. Um, mm -hmm. So very good there. And um, then when it comes to finance, we've got a lot of 12 house stuff happening with finance. And what I mean by that is we have the financial asteroid series in the 12th and the sun, which rules your eighth house of shared finance in the 12th. So kind of a difficult month for going on, you know, buying things on credit. I would try to see, you know, I know it's Christmas and Hanukkah and you want to spend a lot of money on the people you love, but really don't take out any credit this month with the sun in the 12th um, because it rules that eighth house of other people's money. Um, so, you know, there's a sense of money just kind of slipping through your fingers a bit this month. And again, holidays are always so expensive, so that's probably what's going to go on. But I would just sort of say for the most part, um, try not to do so much to, to build up debt this month and um, realize that you'll be building more money probably better next year. Well, that's all for today. If you like this video, please do like it officially, subscribe to our channel, and share our stuff with all your friends.
You can find our site at pandoraastrology.com to get a reading with one of us and to find us on Patreon for workshops and classes. And we'll see you around the cosmos. <laughs> Bye-bye.